today we have a moving tale for you. A story about struggle, perseverance, success, and what it means to be the person in the mascot costume. Available right now on Amazon Prime for streaming, we've discovered another light, charming project for you. This time around, while the contents themselves may be fairly simple and somewhat predictable, we would argue that it's worth checking out thanks to its wholesome nature. And that's to say nothing of what it led us to discover about a popular modern Japanese phenomenon, the existence of regional mascots. So grab a friend and your coziest blanket, and let's take a look at 2018's Yasa Daruman. Today's film was written and directed by Kenichi Omori. Omori was born in Ehime Prefecture and attended Osaka University of Arts. Since graduation, Omori has worked in film, advertising, and writing, remaining an independent filmmaker while taking commercial projects on the side. In terms of feature film, Omori has been working since 2010, mostly producing dramas about young people. He's also devoted several projects to covering Ehime and the surrounding area. Yasa Daruman stars Hisanori Sato as Hajime Kisaragi, an up-and-coming young man who portrays Mahara City's local mascot, the titular Yasa Daruman. Opposite Sato, we have Maasa Sudo and Ayana Taketatsu as Satomi Akahata and Yuna Isoya, two women who work in the Mihara City Bureau promoting travel. Given that Yatsa Daruman is a symbol for the locality, this bureau is in control of the mascot's image and engagements. All three of these actors worked on Omori's first feature film, light novel no Tarashi Kakikata. Additionally, Sato has also worked with Omori on other occasions in between these two films. The film was made in commemoration of a fairly large anniversary for Mihara City. The film's events center around the celebration of Mihara Castle being constructed 450 years prior, in 1567. Though little of the castle remains today, this remains an important attraction for the area, thanks to its longevity and how it connects the city with Japan's lengthy history. In order to commemorate the city and the castle more specifically, a good number of locations around Mihara were placed on display, and a multitude of locals appeared throughout the film as extras. The narrative of Yasa Daruman centers around the Mihara travel group pushing for their local mascot to at least place in Japan's premier mascot competition, the Mascot Grand Prix. At the start of the film, we learn that Yasa Daruman currently sits at 236th place. The group intends and hopes to push him to at least the top 10 of the Grand Prix. Our main man, Hajime, has been the city's Daruman actor for a while now, with others commenting that this has been his only true job up to this point. Due to his repetitive, poor showings at the Grand Prix, Hajime has lost his spark, but it gets back when he meets Yuna. Yuna is a new member of the Mihara travel group who joins to work in their AV department. Having family who works in film, Yuna is interested in learning some new skills. In Mihara, Yuna works under the old head Mukai, who teaches her how to film and edit video. And while Hajime seems to hold some affection for Yuna, he doesn't realize that Satomi has always been here for him. They have worked together so long, in fact, that when partnered, Hajime and Satomi are known as the classmate combo by the rest of the group. With the introduction of some new blood into the movement, the Yasa Daruman crew find themselves reinvigorated. They decide to put together a viral video with singing and choreographed dancing, which will help put Yasa Daruman on the map and propel him up the Grand Prix ranking. On a personal level, Yasa Daruman is a film about learning what's important to you, whether that be another person, a symbol, a mascot, or a city. On a larger level, the film discusses the phenomenon of local mascots, and what they mean to cities and prefectures, which is the main topic we'd like to discuss today via Yasa Daruman. In Mihara specifically, Yasa Daruman is a real mascot designed to call attention to the city's history and culture, much like the film itself. Two events are important to consider here. The Mihara Yasa Festival is a three-day event held annually from which Daruman gets the Yasa part of his name. The Yasa Festival is a local celebration held concurrent to the Obon Festival, which we've discussed in a previous video. The festival supposedly gets its name from the participants yelling Yasa repeatedly while they dance about, though the historical record is a bit sketchy once you go back far enough. The dance and the festival are reported to have originated in the 1500s with Takakage Kobayakawa. 
Kobayakawa was the man who constructed Mihara Castle during Japan's Warring States period, upon the completion of which the locals danced and sang in celebration. Yasa Daruman is a symbol of this festival, and more broadly, Mihara. The city of Mihara is a locality of about 100,000 residents, situated in southeast Hiroshima Prefecture, east of Hiroshima City. Yasa Daruman was appointed mascot of Mihara in 2015 by popular election. Designed by Tomohiko Fukunaga, Yasa Daruman was one of 1,017 designs submitted for consideration as Mihara's mascot. The pool was then narrowed to eight and voted upon, at which point Yasa Daruman emerged victorious. According to the Mihara City website, Yasa Daruman is about 450 years old, loves sweets and sake from Mihara, and enjoys bringing happiness to people as well as dancing. Yasa Daruman's design is based on the Daruma doll, an image commonly associated with Japan. The Daruma is said to be based on the founder of Zen Buddhism. These dolls were first produced in the city of Takasaki, in present-day Gunma Prefecture, sometime in the 17th century. Local farmers used them as good luck charms, a practice which has since expanded all over Japan and even the world. Today, Daruma are seen as signs of good luck, perseverance, and determination. Their roundness is believed to demonstrate that they get back up, no matter how often they're knocked down. Daruma are also purchased when someone wishes to participate in a large project, such as the farming and harvest of those Takasaki farmers 400 years back. One eye is filled in when a task is begun, the other is filled in once completed as a symbol of wholeness and success. Daruma are important to Mihara, much like the Yasa festival, thanks to a local tradition. Mihara's Daruma festival is an old gathering for the city, though admittedly not as old as Mihara Castle. Today, this festival is known as one of the largest Daruma festivals in Japan, featuring the supposed heaviest Daruma in the country, which is said to weigh more than 200 kilograms. Around here, the idea is that the Daruma are not purchased solely for major projects, but also as a means of setting personal goals year by year. The Yasa festival occurs in August, and the Daruma festival is held in February. With these two major events for Mihara being held in balance, Yasa Daruman presents recognizable aspects of the city for potential visitors. The mascot reduces Mihara to a simple image, which offers a cute, eye-catching symbol, which is the exact function these mascots serve for cities and prefectures across the country. Across Japan, these characters are known either as mascot characters or yuru kiaras, the latter of these terms being derived from yuri, which means something like gentle. One other term, gotochi kiara, has become popular recently, this one meaning local character. As we said, mascot characters in Japan can represent cities or prefectures, and they range from cutesy to bizarre. Often they're based on animals, but not always, with some popular mascots being food items, yokai, humans, or other anthropomorphized objects. As for serving as representatives of their homes, mascots say something about their municipalities. Perhaps they embody a popular export, a local festival, or a custom for which the area is known. Often mascots are cute in nature, though some have been called creepy cute, thanks to their playful yet odd nature. Either way, the point is for a city or prefecture to have an eye-catching symbol which easily ties back to them. In truth, it's a winning formula which has been adopted by hundreds, if not thousands, of groups across Japan. The modern Japanese mascots first appeared in the mid-2000s, and began to catch on immediately due to their usefulness for tourism and branding. Hikonyan, the mascot of Hikone, Shiga Prefecture, was created to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Hikone Castle in 2007. This little guy was based upon a legend regarding a white cat who saved the daimyo of Hikone from a lightning strike in the early 1600s. The cat in question called to the daimyo, getting him out of an especially bad storm and cementing the cat's place in local folklore. Within a few short years of his creation, Hikonyan became a preeminent example of Japanese mascots. That's right, the competition mentioned in the film is a real event which occurs annually. Founded in 2010, this national competition allows people to vote on the most popular mascot of Japan, 
In its first year, the Grand Prix garnered 169 nice competitors, with Hikonyan topping the bill. By 2017, there were 1,158 competitors, showing how quickly the contest had exploded in size and popularity. Some mascots, like the ever-popular Kumamon, have even transcended their home area. Specifically speaking on Kumamon, he was created in 2010 to represent Kumamoto Prefecture, once the Kyushu Shinkansen started operation. The following year, Kumamon took home the top prize at the second annual Mascot Character Grand Prix. In the decades since, Kumamon's popularity has soared, appearing not only on a multitude of branded products and promotional materials, but even in the 2014 video game Yokai Watch 2, and the movie based upon the game. Other popular mascots have received similar treatment over the years, with media appearances and endless amounts of merchandise meant to draw people into different regions and generate revenue for these areas. There's a huge world out there to discover with Japan's many mascot characters. If you check out the links provided, you can take a look at the mascots who competed for the Grand Prix year by year. Each has a profile photo and a short description, though these are all in Japanese, so you might need to get out the old G-Show. What you won't need any understanding of Japanese to appreciate, on the other hand, is the creativity and the heart that goes into developing so many of these mascots. Give them a look if you're interested, and while you're at it, check out Yasa Daruman. It's a charming film about learning your priorities in life, as well as a solid introduction to the captivating world of mascot characters.